Hello people, welcome back to another XL Cinema tutorial, I'm Young One, and today I got an exciting tutorial, I've been waiting to learn this myself, and this is going to be a uh, edit or a tutorial for Twixter, an AAE tool, After Effects, and it's very useful in my opinion for making smooth edits for that slow-mo stuff you see in many other montages, Joe Hansen, whoever follows him, very nice stuff, but... Uh, I recommend that you have a smooth gameplay clip to do this, so let's begin. Uh, first what you want to do is have a, a rendering software because later on you'll be needing a rendered clip of whatever you're trying to render to go into Adobe After Effects. So what I got was just a simple setup shot here. And what we're going to be doing is slow mowing this shot down to an extreme slowness. So I get that headshot and I want it to be like very slow for the for the clip that I'm about to slow down on Twixter. So what you want to do is find that clip. I'll start right here and then slow. I'll just delete this part, maybe shorten it down at the end. Seems to be like a one bullet kill. This stretches out to be one second long, but no matter. Uh, after we're done with the After Effects rendering, it should be about like five seconds long. So once you get whatever you want, uh, what you want to do is render it. Uh, this, the way I learned it, it takes a specific way to render it, and I kind of skim through what I have for it. I go to Video for Windows (AVI). Then I have this Twixter preset. I'll show you what I have. It's on preview. Uh, video is HDV 720. And you can see the resolution. Don't mess with these. But the video format is something you want to get. It's called Lagarith or Logarith Lossless Codec. You can download it for free. Uh, don't know where you can get it exactly, but you can Google it. I might put a video link in the description. Uh, you don't really want to mess with the audio. Well, that's the way I learned it. But you can just keep it unchecked. You can add in some audio later or the audio is still there. It's still in the Sony Vegas file. And um, you can just start rendering it from here. Uh, give it a name and location wherever you want it to do it. And that should render pretty quickly. Considering it's just one second shot. But like I said before, it'll, it'll come out in the long run to be about five seconds. So what you want to do is open that file. And from there, we're going to head over to Adobe. You want to drag this shot uh, into the project area, this huge square if you have it there. And I'm using CS3 by the way. And from there, you want to just drag it down to the timeline zone. And so here you got your shot. Same thing. And now what you want to do is click this thing, uh, enable frame blending. So when you're uh, slow mowing it, it'll kind of be a little pixelated, so what this blending does, it just brings it all together to just make it even smoother. So you want to uh, click this once and click this as well, it's pretty much the same thing, but just another thing you should do. And then you want to right click on the screen, because it won't work on the gray part, so right click on the screen here, go to time, then time stretch. Put it at about 500, 500 is a good time, and you see the new duration is 4 seconds and 15 milliseconds, so click OK on that, and now when you're previewing it, it doesn't show the shot yet because it's been slowed down. To solve this, if it's not showing, just mine's set to 0 0.27 milliseconds, so to solve this, just uh, set it to whatever that time set before, mine was 4.15, and now you can see it all the way. If we just skim across, the shot will be there this time. You can see it's just been stretched out to 4 seconds. Now it's a little sketchy at this point, but we're going to get this off soon. Just take the official clip, drag it here for a new composition, and then drag the uh, composition into another new composition. So you have three compositions. And so, you still have your shot. But uh, this one as well is the same amount of short time. So what you want to do is make this 4 seconds again, 4.15, or however yours is. You can do it for the second composition as well. So 
415. Now you want to stretch this out again and as well stretch this out because it's been short enough that you change the time. And so now you just got this very slow clip. It stretches out for about one second I believe. But what we're going to do now is add the Twixter. Now Twixter is something that needs to be purchased so you can go to Twi search Twixter on Google. Uh, I use the Twixter, the regular one, because there's Twixter Pro as well. So when it, if you get that, just type in Twixter, drag it to the screen. Because if you don't have Twixter, then um, you'll end up having a red screen or like a red X across your um, clip right here, and you really don't want that. It's very disturbing when you render it afterwards. But if you're into that stuff, then go ahead. But it's better cleaner. So just add that Twixer effects to it, and it doesn't do anything now, but to solve this, what we want to do is slow down the speed. A good average set is about 20, so when you're playing it along, it actually stretches out for that 4 seconds rather than that 1 second right there. And then you can see how it kind of waves in a way. It's very nice. So, um to make if you really aren't interested in the blurs or the waves that it's giving simply just click on this clip and mess around with uh, the motion sensitivity and go to at least a wavy part of the screen just so you can tell if it's making a difference I'll try to find one yeah right here this will be good and just play around with it the more you lessen it uh, the straighter it is the more you uh, increase it the more wavier it is. I like a little bit wavier so I'm gonna keep it at about 70. And So that is pretty much it. Uh, I render if you really want to know how to render, I don't think my rendering settings aren't the best but you can always figure out how over YouTube, whatever you use. And I do QuickTime, I go to best and keyframes, I just do it all. And then you just render it just name it whatever you want, wherever you want to place it. Oh, and uh, if you can see this, this is the this is the X you get if you haven't purchased Twixter, and it's really not pleasant. It's way better, cleaner, and I think everybody can agree with me on that one. So just name your clip, save it, and it might take a, lo a little bit to um, render it all the way 135 frames. I really don't know what that means, but it'll take a while me about five minutes and you'll be really pleased about your clips in the aftermath it is really nice so um, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial I hope it comes in handy because in general it is a very nice uh, tool Twixter uh, thanks peace